Hey guys, so I'm back with the tank build. Um, I got my uh, bottom pieces sheared. I kind of put it together. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but kind of put it together to see what it would look like. Um, so I got the main body there, and then there is a side piece here that I put on. Uh, so that's going to be covering the tracks. So obviously the tracks are going to be underneath that. Um, but yeah, like I said, just put that together just to see what it looked like. Uh, I'll be welding that on later on today. Um, sorry for the crappy lighting, it's just in my basement here. Um, what I wanted to mention was uh, when I showed you guys the white outline of what the side of the tank would look like, well, that's that guy there. Um, so, when I was making this, I uh, traced that out onto the metal and uh, cut that out but uh, when I was doing uh, marking out the holes for where the wheels would go and the suspension uh, it's very hard to mark on the actual steel um, pencil you really can't see Perrin marker it rubs off so it was kind of a pain so uh, what I did I was actually I made it out on the paper it's I suppose a lot more precise um, a little bit of notes there and uh, yeah all the measurements of all the sides and uh, I laid it over and uh, I took a center punch and uh, laid it over and punched all the holes right through so I'll be drilling those out uh, those are gonna be uh, six mil holes uh, and then there's gonna be uh, bearings going through them so uh, these are the bearings that I was showing you before in those tubes. Um, so they're pretty small. They're uh, 19 millimeter outside diameter and uh, inside is 6 millimeter. So those guys will be going on the wheels. So just like that and they're going to be laid out all across. So essentially they're going to be lined up against the side like that. I'm going to make a uh, round tube out of aluminum with a cap on it which is going to slide right over that and bolt in from the outside. Um, that's going to hold all that together. Uh, like I said, there's going to be a 6 mil hole going through the steel here and there's going to be a stainless steel shaft inserted through that with a lever on here to put my spring onto. Alright, well that's all I got for now. And, uh, yeah, I'll see if I can get the holes drilled out. And, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys later.